latest on Cyclone Veronica, which is continuing towards the coast of Western Australia this morning. At 8am Australian Western Standard Time this March 22nd, this storm had winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure around 935 millibars. In real terms, on the cyclone destruction potential scale, it puts a storm at stage 6, with 500mm of rain expected in some parts of Western Australia, or should I say, possible, in the next 5 days. Here is the storm's location as of right now, 17.6 south, 116.8 degrees east. And the damage potential for, from that rainfall is of course catastrophic, mainly due to the rainfall, but obviously there will be very strong winds by the time it uh, washes ashore. It's 216 miles from Caratha, 220 from Port Hedland, 251 from Mardi, 300 from Onslow and 312 from Marble Bar. At present there is a cyclone warning for Pardu to Mardi and all points in between, and a cyclone watch either side of that warning zone, extending as far east as well as Downs and as far west as Onslow. Looking at the storm in the next few days, beginning with Friday, you can see Veronica continuing to move towards the south. It's a bit uncertain now as to what exactly is going to happen by the time it reaches the coast of Australia. This is the GFS model showing the storm moving inland towards the east and then circling round towards the north and eventually emerging slightly off the coast near where it made landfall and then moving off towards the west-southwest. Other models have a more straightforward west-southwest motion when it reaches land or a stalling motion by the time it gets there. Uh, either way, there could be, be, be the potential for large amounts of rainfall over a wide area of Western Australia. Sea surface temperatures are certainly very conducive to much more moist conditions, 31 degrees Celsius, which is a huge sea surface temperature when it comes to uh, these storms. And this is the wind forecast over the next few days. Again, this is just one computer model run. The green areas, that's gale force winds. The yellow areas, hurricane force winds. And uh, they, of course, dissipate rather quickly as we enter the new week. Uh, and by Tuesday, it looks like the tropical storm conditions have faded uh, from Veronica, uh, although it will just about move along the western coast there and could deliver more breezy conditions, even if it does dissipate along the coast. As of right now though, chances of tropical storm force winds look like this in the next five days. 75% in Port Hedland and Caratha, 60% in Marble Bar, 40% at Tom Price, 55 at Onslow. Those percentages will probably rise as we become more certain as the exact track of this storm. Here's some of the models. Ignore the CTCX, it looks like it's uh, I'm a little bit loopy. The other models though are calling for a potential Category 4 landfall on the Sapper Simpson scale. That is a clear Category 5 on the Australian scale. Wind shear will rise in about 36 hours. Uh, sea surface temperature is very good as we know. Relative humidity on a slow downward trend. You can see the HWRF calling for a much tighter loop and then the storm moving back out over the open ocean towards the west. That would be interesting too. Here's the satellite imagery on how the storm's been looking in the last few hours. We've not seen its phenomenal eye that we saw yesterday. Uh, it's only just starting to reappear in latest satellite frames, and it's not a complete eye wall by the looks of things. There's at least one fracture in it. That's why it is uh, hesitating to use the word struggling, because it isn't really, but it isn't as strong as it was yesterday. There is still a potential for re-intensification and beyond to what it was yesterday and could get finally towards Category 5 on the Australian scale later today. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All In Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project reach the next level by becoming a patron. It makes us even better and you can reap your own benefits from becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these patrons, too many to read out individually, but we thank them very much for their support through the project over several months now. 
You can also find Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 on Discord at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat. Our regional channel, Force 13 Australia and Oceania, will also have more regional weather news in the area during this storm and after.